my name is Leanne Bird. I'm the Senior Case Manager and Team Leader for the Nara Jara Aboriginal Health Program. I'm a proud Yorta Yorta woman. My mother was born in Marupna on Yorta Yorta land. And um, I was born and raised in Ballarat, in Wathaurong country. And now I live in Melbourne, which is Wurundjeri land. My name's Lyle Hudson. Uh, I'm living in Melbourne currently. I originally come from Central West New South Wales. Um, the, uh, the Aboriginal population out there is, is known as the Camilleroy tribe, uh, and, and that's the, the heritage that I come from. I originally started at Austin Health as an as a, uh, IT service desk officer, uh, where I basically answered the phones in, in IT. Um, I, I secured the position through an Aboriginal VTech program, which helps Indigenous, uh, Indigenous people enter the workforce. My name is Ross Morgan. I'm a Yorta Yorta man from the Shepherd and Echuca region, Victoria. Um, I work in the Narangara unit, uh, the Aboriginal Liaison Officer for the Austin Hospital. The great thing about working at Austin Health is the people. Uh, I found that uh, there is some stigma about Aboriginal people and, and you, you find that in society sometimes it, it's hard to enter a workforce but everyone that I've run into at Austin Health is absolutely completely welcoming of me and it's made my, my employment here just even even more enjoyable. Working in the Narangara unit and, and working with my people, Aboriginal people, is, is the number one um, um, thing that I and proud of doing. Um. I really enjoy working at the Austin. From my perspective, people have been welcoming and really helpful. I feel like I'm making a difference to the, the health and wellbeing of my people as well, which is really important to me. The Narajara Aboriginal Health Program provides culturally appropriate support for Aboriginal patients. Sometimes Aboriginal people will present to hospital and they feel isolated and overwhelmed by the environment. Not, me not to mention the memory of the stories of negative experiences of the past. Narajara staff can make a cultural connection with these patients. We usually know the community or the family where they've come from and this helps the patient to feel more at ease in, this, in what is a foreign environment to them. And I hate to say it, but sometimes their patients will report that they felt that staff have not been culturally sensitive or friendly. And assumptions have been made just because they're Aboriginal. You know, when you, when you talk about um, um, your Aboriginal patients, you ring up and say such and such is on the ward, he's an Aboriginal person, he's come up and, and they kind of bluntly say, yeah, we're busy now, um, um, he's been notified. And, you know, like in some cases, People ain't notified about our unit, um, so when they come up on, on the screen as being Aboriginal, we'll check to make sure that they've been notified, you know. So, and for a person, um, an Aboriginal person, they can feel like, okay, that's rejection, that's, that's someone who doesn't even want us in the building, you know, like, that's how we, we could read. Someone could be just having a bad day, but most of them all, we've, felt, we've, we've dealt with that stuff all of our lives and we read it differently. Um, nothing in particular, I mean we're, we're the same as other people, we, it's, there's no difference between, between me and yourself, you know, Tr treat everyone the, the way you want to be treated is, is basically the, the, the main thing I think. Like what, what we do is, is we respect um, people for what they do and, and we, re we expect the same. When working with Aboriginal staff or supporting Aboriginal patients, it's important for, for everyone here at the Austin to know that there's no one size that fits all approach to working with your Aboriginal colleagues or caring for Aboriginal patients. We come from all walks of life, we have different experiences and we have different values. At the core though, our families, um, our connection to land, our community and reviving and maintaining our culture are largely the common threads you'll find. <laughs>